Terry's my grandfather. I like to call him Pop. Yeah, he does a lot for us with our family. He helps all of us all the time. He takes my son to school for me and he picks the kids up from school too. Without my pa, I can't function. Like, I can't go to work and I can't do my daily routine without my grandfather. He is a fantastic bowler. My pa's been bowling for, I think, 35 years. He's very dedicated to it and uh, brings a lot of joy to him. He actually was going to miss his own granddaughter's wedding because he had championships. <laughs> My pa has a hearing impairment and he was born like that. With everything, I have to speak on his behalf. Whether he comes to me with a letter or if I have to book him an appointment, a lot of our patients who have hearing difficulties, they also then, of course, have communication problems. So going to a lot of specialist appointments, a lot of the time they miss things. I find it hard for people to understand me. Hearing loss actually affects multiple aspects of our health. It's not just missing what people are hearing, but missing those communication opportunities, missing those social interactions actually has a negative effect on mental health. He gets very anxious and frustrated because as he's hearing impaired, it's hard for him to explain to a doctor what is actually the issue on the day or whether he's getting results or whatever. Doctors and other health professionals, they don't really understand what people with hearing difficulties need and they don't always pick up on a hearing problem. They won't always pick up that the patient hasn't actually heard what they've said, especially if the patient is just nodding. He might be lip reading them and thinking, oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. And the doctor might think, oh yeah, he understands. Mishearing a word in day-to-day -day conversations might not be too much of a problem, but when it comes to medical issues, it could have some serious consequences. He has been given medication that he actually is allergic to, and that could have been fatal too. It is really scary. You know, he lacks a lot of independence because he's always got to have somebody with him when it comes to communication. I think by him having my health record would definitely be a really big help. It would make things a lot easier for his doctors to be able to access that instead of having to potentially misinterpret what he's trying to tell them. And being able to type in my notes so that other professionals can see them as part of a whole care plan will actually really help the patient to be taken care of better. He might actually feel a bit more independent being able to go to these places they can look at it and he doesn't have to tell that story over and over. It would be a help even for myself that I wouldn't have to attend all those appointments all the time. It would be really, really good if I could access that because then I could see what's going on too. I want to be able to do more things myself.